Hey, what's up guys? Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. You're back in the kitchen with the market with another edition, but today I have a guest with me today. Yes, my cousin have came down to Atlanta to cook with me. She's seen so many of my videos on YouTube and today she wanted to come down and actually get in the kitchen with me and cook. So today we're gonna cook some salmon, some asparagus, and with some homemade mashed potatoes. So today she's also gonna introduce to you guys her jewelry line. She's a consultant with Paparazzi Jewelry. And she's gonna let you guys know a lot about her jewelry line and what she's doing. So I want you guys to please welcome my cousin Brick to the show today. Hey y'all, what's shaking bacon? What's going on with you? What's going on with Listen, you? Listen, I'm trying to come cook some salmon with you. You know I like the way you cook it. Really? But my jewelry line, to let y'all know, is called Embellished Divas Boutique. You can find me on Facebook or paparazziaccessories.com slash 238283. That's my independent consultant number. So y'all looking for jewelry like I'm wearing, get it popping. That's what you could do, paparazzi jewelry. But right now we're gonna cook some salmon. Oh yeah, so but let's go back to your jewelry line. Yes. Now I like jewelry also. Yes, we and have them. I my mom like jewelry and yep. I have a daughter that loves jewelry. Yes, we got it for everybody. So do you have on any of your pieces today? I do. So I have on this red acrylic necklace that you can see. All of our necklaces have two inch extenders so you can make them shorter, longer, what have you. I have on this silver ring. All of our rings are stretchy, so they fit size 5 to 11. This nice cuff bracelet, silver. All of our jewelry is nickel, nickel and lead free and only $5. We ship anywhere in the United States, $4 flat rate shipping. Okay, so you guys heard it, lead free. You know, you have to wear some type of jewelry that is lead free. This is really nice jewelry, you guys. So we're going to get back into her jewelry line and also give you guys more information on her jewelry line. But let's go ahead and get us a drink. As you know, I nice like stuff. to get me a drink before I get started. Yes. So today we're going to go ahead and start off with a fireball shot. Let's get it You ready? It. Okay. Ready. So let's go. We have three glasses here because we have hubby over there who's recording us today. But we're going to go ahead and toast. That's a big shot. It's okay. <laughs> They're trying look, to get me look, drunk, y'all. No, it's okay. <laughs> We're going to toast to much success with our business. You ready? Let's get a poppy. Mmm. 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 That fireball. <laughs> Woo. Y'all, when I tell y'all that fireball. That's good. It take it out. Yeah. So as you guys know, today we're going to be cooking the salmon. And we're going to be cooking the salmon on top of the stove. So we're going to go ahead and let Britt go ahead and start cutting up the bell pepper and onions because we're going to cook the onions and bell peppers with the, um, with the salmon. So we're going to chop the bell peppers up in just little small pieces and also the onions in small pieces. While she's cutting the bell peppers and onions, I'm going to go ahead and start with the lemon. Today you guys will be able to see a special sauce that, we're, that we will be um, adding with the um, with the salmon. We're going to do a special sauce with the salmon today. It's a garlic and sweet butter um, sauce that we add with the salmon. Good. So, so you know, that's what we're going to add. Mm -hmm. So, Brie, are you married? I am. I'm married and I have five kids, four boys, one girl. Okay. Yep, my son is going to college actually on Friday. So, I'm okay. leaving Atlanta today and getting him ready to get packed up and shipped off. <laughs> okay, ain't nothing wrong with that, ain't wrong with that. You know, the beautiful thing about being married, you're actually gonna be cooking for family members. Yes. And when you want to cook for your family, you want your family to be healthy and, you know, Absolutely. eating healthy and something fast because if you're a working parent, you want yep. to make sure your family also is able to eat healthy, even though when you're on the go. Right. Yep. So that's why I tell people when you're cooking salmon, Salmon is a quick meal, and it's also it's healthy for your family. That's so true. how do you feel about when you cook meals for your family? Do you are you more on the healthy side, or are you like more on the, you know, soul food and all that, you know, good stuff? So I try to do healthy soul food, but I have to sneak it in because uh -huh. if I tell them, they won't eat it. <laughs> right, right, right. I agree. I agree. Now with asparagus, because we are going to be cooking asparagus to to um, today, guys. 
And how do you feel about asparagus? Because a lot of people don't really like asparagus, but I personally love asparagus. How about you and your family? I do too. I like asparagus. They actually like it roasted, and I'll put a little bit of balsamic vinegar and teriyaki okay. sauce on it. Okay. So they'll eat it that way. Um, normally, I don't do it any other way. I try to roast it because it's a little bit healthier. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. I really like it that way also. But mm -hmm. today, we're actually going to put the asparagus in the oven with a little salt and pepper and a little olive oil. That's what we're putting in the oven today with the asparagus. So right now, she's cutting up the bell peppers and she's also going to cut up the onion. So we'll be right back and show you guys how we're going to get finished with this southern Cajun salmon. Hey guys, welcome back. As you guys know, we are having a ball here at the house. <laughs> oh my God. We have been having a ball here, you guys. So she have already chopped up the onions and I have already chopped up the um, lemon. Yes. So you did an amazing job with those onions. Thank you, that's what I do. You what I really want to know is how you did that salmon the other day on that YouTube video with the pinch method. And all that good seasoning that you did. That's oh, what I want to so see. you're here to get my secrets. Yeah, I want to know the secret so, recipe. So you're here to get my secrets. Yes. So you guys, I'm going to go ahead and let her in on the secret. Let's go ahead and switch. Get your drink. Okay. We're going to go ahead and switch. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you, I'm going to basically show you how I did the pinch method. Okay. Just so the heat can get through the salmon. Mm -hmm. So what you're basically going to do, you're going to take your salmon. Mm-hmm. You're going to take a light pinch. Okay. And you're going to cut it about a half inch into the salmon. Okay. And you can do you about three to four cuts of your salmon apart. About okay. a half an inch apart when you're cutting your salmon. Okay. That's good. Yep, that's, that's actually great. Okay. Yep. And you can go ahead and cut your next one. Oh, she got it, y'all. She got it. Hey. She got it, y'all. First time's a charm. Oh, that's great. That's actually great. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and cut the last salmon. And I'm going to go ahead and let her in on a little secret while we're seasoning our salmon. As you know, if you've been watching this channel for a long time, you know with me seasoning my salmon, I like to season it a certain way. So I'm going to go ahead and let Britt let you guys know what I like to use on my salmon. What are we doing? We doing a little Old Bay? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. So we're going to do this Old Bay, get it popping. Mm -hmm. Now let me ask you this, do we season both sides? You want to season both sides because if you like your salmon to be seasoned and you like flavoring your salmon, you mm -hmm. want to season both sides with the Old Bay. Okay. So Are you, we doing any other seasonings besides we, Old Bay? Now we're also going to use a little lemon juice. Okay. And we're also going to use a lemon pepper seasoning. Okay. And we're going to use a, just a little bit of salt and pepper. Okay. So right now, you guys, she's using the lemon pepper. Lemon pepper seasoning. We did the old bay first. Now, we're, and we're gonna put the lemon pepper on both sides as well. Yes. Mm-hmm. And am I squirting lemon juice? You can now? do that last. Okay. You can do the lemon juice last. Okay. So we're gonna flip it. Okay. And get it popping on the other side. Get it popping. <laughs> <laughs> popping like paparazzi jersey. Right. Pa paparazzi popping. Mm-hmm. They don't know. They don't know nothing they about it. They better get that $5 jewelry in this cooking lesson. You already know. Free, baby. Get that jewelry. $5. You can't beat yes. it. Yes. So right now what she's doing, you guys, she's actually putting the Old Bay on, on salmon. And then we're going to go back in with some lemon pepper on the opposite side. Oh, that's too much. Right? It's okay. Right. It's okay. We love season around here, baby. I know. That's right. <laughs> so next we're going to actually do the salt and pepper. Okay. You just want to do a little bit of salt because, you know, your other season has salt in it. Right. So you just want to do a little bit of salt. I don't want you to have high blood pressure, you right. know. Right. We don't need that. Right. We want healthy salt. Right. So use a little pepper. That looks so good, y'all. When I tell you guys this looks so good, just wait till we put it in this heat. And I wish y'all could smell it, how fragrant it is. It oh smells my God. so good. Oh, my God. So she's going to flip it over and go ahead and put a little salt and pepper on the opposite side. Now, if you guys remember watching the other video, um, we did start cooking the salmon on the flip side, which is the side with the skin. As I told you guys before, a lot of people don't like their salmon with the skin, but I find to find that the salmon is really good when you leave the skin on. Mm -hmm. I like it. It's really good. You like it like that too? I do. It's really good when you put this, um, cook it on the skin with the skin with the salmon. 
So I, she's I feel like it keeps that flavor in. You're absolutely right. So you've really been watching. Mm -hmm. So yeah, yeah, it really do. So what she's going to do is, so right now we're going to go ahead and get ready for the, to put it in the pot. Yes. We're going to put the salmon in the pot. We're going to first cook it with, what we're cooking it with. So I saw you use that olive oil, light cooking olive oil. So I think we should use that. Okay. Okay. So let me go ahead and cut the stove on. Okay. So let them know. All right, so we're gonna put a little bit of olive oil in the pan, not too much, but enough to get it popping <laughs> so we can cook that salmon. Okay, so what we're gonna do first, we're gonna let the olive oil heat up. Once it heat up, we're gonna go ahead and drop the salmon in the pan. So we'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so go ahead, Britt, let them know. All right, so we're gonna let this olive oil heat up before we put our salmon in and we're gonna get all the sides ready. What we're gonna do is start on this asparagus over here, which we're gonna lightly season with a little bit of salt and pepper. Y'all see how pretty that asparagus is? It's so pretty. That asparagus really look good, Britt. I really love asparagus. So how do you actually like to cook your asparagus? So normally what I do is I put a little teriyaki and balsamic vinegar, but today we're gonna do it your way. Okay. And we're gonna put a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper and olive oil and put it in the oven for about 15 minutes while we get the salmon popping like Papa Ron. Okay, let's go then, let's go let's ahead. We're high doing high. it my way yeah, on the highway. Yeah, let's go, go come way on. on the highway. Okay. Let's get it. Okay, so as you guys can see, we have the asparagus in there. We're gonna leave that in there for about 15 minutes. So now we're gonna go ahead on over to the salmon. We're gonna go ahead and let her start the salmon. The salmon's ready. So what we normally do with the salmon, we put it on the back side first, the skin mm -hmm. side, let the skin side cook first. Ooh, y'all hear that? That's what you wanna hear when you make a salmon. That's what you wanna hear. You wanna hear that good sizzle in that pan when you cook the salmon. You don't wanna have your heat too high and you do not want to crowd the pan. So you don't want too many pieces in there at one time. Now, Britt, this salmon looks amazing so far, what you have Hey, that's here. your recipe, baby. Look. That <laughs> now is you, your recipe. That's now, why it looks so good. Now, you guys, she have already placed the salmon into the pan. We're gonna let that cook. Now, usually it takes about five minutes to cook on one side. Two to I would say about two to five minutes to cook on one side, okay. and then we will flip it. You don't have to, like, I see people all the time, like, flipping salmon back and forth, back and forth. Right. And you don't have to do all that because you don't want your fish to be overcooked. Right. So today we're going to show her how to cook her salmon and how, you know, I do it. <laughs> you know? <laughs> so we're going to let that cook for about five minutes on one side, the side with the skin. But next, we're going to move on over to our uh, seasoning that we're going to use, the sauce that we're going to use okay. for the um, for the salmon. Okay. So usually what I do, I like to do a sweet honey butter sauce mm -hmm. with my salmon. I know in my last video I didn't do a sauce, but this is the sauce that I normally do. Right. So what I do is I take about two teaspoons of garlic. Okay. And I use about two teaspoons of lemon juice. Two teaspoons. I'm sorry, I have a lemon juice right here open. So we use about two teaspoons of lemon juice. Okay. Now this sauce is amazing. And I use about two teaspoons of sugar. Now you can use white sugar or brown sugar, mm -hmm. whatever you decide to use. Right. Okay, you mix that together. Use a whole stick of butter. Yes, you know we yes. like that butter, baby. Ah! It's like one, butter, baby. Uh, it's like butter, baby. One teaspoon of butter. That's all. One teaspoon of butter. You can use salted butter or you can use unsalted butter. Whatever your preference is. You okay. Know. So you put that in there also. This butter. Let me get a napkin, please. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. So next what I do is I like to take it to the stove and go ahead and cook it. So we'll let this cook for about three minutes. So we'll let that cook for about three minutes, you guys. And once that's done, we'll get into that. So right now we're gonna go back into the salmon. She's gonna go ahead and flip the salmon. So, you know, I really love the jury. 
And the jury is really special because I think that every woman needs some type of nice accessory to go to to go with their clothing, you know, that all right. what's going on in their life. And I think paparazzi jewelry have that. And I love how jewelry makes you feel. And paparazzi has a lot of statement pieces, okay. which a lot of women like because it makes you feel confident and actually explore another side of yourself. So that's why I like jewelry. It's kind of like when you cook food for your significant other mm -hmm. and how it makes you feel when you take that plate to them in the other room. So I think it's kind of equivalent. That's why I think it was okay. a good idea for us to do this today, just because it makes you feel like food is a way to your significant other's heart is the same way that that jewelry is. It makes you, when you yeah, walk in a room, right. you take ownership of it. So I think that was a good idea. I agree with a whole lot. You know, jewelry is very important. Like those pieces, like you said, those are signature pieces yes. to go with your outfit or how you mm -hmm. feel that day. That's really important to me. And to have you here today, I mean, I'm so happy to have I'm you. happy to be I, here. I mean, I'm really happy to have you here today. And you're cooking, we're cooking one of the best meals ever. The right. salmon with asparagus and mashed potatoes. Yes, I'm ready for that sauce. I can't wait I to know. take the sauce on that. <laughs> That's I know, what I'm ready for. I know. <laughs> but as you know, we also have the mashed potatoes. Yes. The homemade mashed potatoes. Yes. So you guys, we also have the homemade mashed potatoes right here. Now, Tell me what you did with those. Potatoes. Now, what I normally do with my mashed potatoes is I take a, it's about a cup of milk. Mm -hmm. It's about a cup of milk. Yeah. Now I put it here in my mash. So it's about a cup of milk that I put in my mash. Okay. And my potatoes, go ahead and smash those. You smash your potatoes. And we boiled them first, didn't we? We did boil the, we did boil the potatoes before, you guys, for about 30 minutes. So go ahead and soften the potatoes. So you let them cook in the milk for about five minutes. And I like them chunky, too. Yeah, I like That's how you know it's homemade. Firm. Yeah. I love my potato firm. I love my potato firm. And that is very important to me. I don't like, I don't really like soggy potatoes. Right, me neither. Because then you don't get to see all the love that went into you it. You really don't. You really don't. You really don't. So what we're going to do right now, we're going to go ahead and add a little salt and pepper. So Britt, pass me the salt and pepper. Got you. So go ahead on and dash it in there. You say when. Okay. Okay, that's good on the salt for right now. Then we're going to go ahead and add a little pepper on it. Okay, that's good on the pepper. Now, how many potatoes did we use? We used about five to six potatoes. Okay. And we, we use used red potatoes? We used red potatoes. We okay. did use red potatoes. I love red potatoes. Yes. How do you feel about red potatoes, though? Because some people don't like red potatoes. Okay, so I'm from New York where we normally do like salt potatoes, mm -hmm. and we also do red potatoes. Okay. I like red potatoes. Okay. I think they have a creamier texture than, say, your russet potatoes. So gotcha. I like the red potatoes and the flavor that it gives you, especially when you put whole milk. Yeah. Now I heard that you love to cook also. I do. Your family. I really do love to cook. Really? Okay. I try to cook every day. Sometimes with the hustle and bustle of things, I don't get to do it. So like this past Sunday, I knew I was coming here. Okay. So I actually made two dinners so that my family would be okay while I was gone. Okay. So I do Good. like to cook. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, that's perfect. I love it. I love every bit of it. Now, I just love a woman that loves to cook for her family because that is very important in today's society. Yes. Women that love to cook for their family. That is so important to me because, yes. you know, as they say, to a man's heart, it's to his stomach. <laughs> yes, yes. I say so, to a woman's heart, it's to jewelry. <laughs> <laughs> can people find your jewelry at? Okay, so like I said, I'm on Facebook, um, embellishdivasboutique.com, um, or you can find me under Brittany Good with an E, 
or on paparazziaccessories.com slash 238283, which is my consultant ID. So you can go to either one of those three and find me. I do a lot of Facebook live shows as well. So if you're looking for me, that's where I'm at. And you know, the thing that I really love about supporting your jewelry, it is black owned. She is a consultant of this business and I'm supporting a black person. Yes. That is very important, you guys. Supporting your own kind. It's very important. Yes, and that's that, why I'm here with you guys and, today. And that is really special to me. You don't understand that is really special yes. to me. And I appreciate everything. I so make sure you guys go to her Facebook page, check her out. Also purchase some jewelry offline. Like, what are you waiting on? So And get y'all candles while y'all at it. <laughs> you're absolutely right. So what so, are we doing with so, the sauce over So here? the sauce is still cooking. Okay. And we're gonna go ahead and add the onions and bell pepper. So go ahead and get the onions and bell pepper in your fish. So in the fish. Yes, you're gonna go ahead it. and add it on in there. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna saute the onions and bell peppers and let those cook for about two <laughs> minutes. We're gonna we don't want them to be too soft. So we're gonna go ahead and let those saute with the salmon, okay? While the salmon is cooking, we also are cooking the mash, the homemade mash. Also in the mash, you wanna also put a half a stick of, or you can put a teaspoon of um, homemade butter for your mash, cause you want it to be homemade, okay? So what I'm going to do, So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a teaspoon of butter into my mash. These are the homemade mash. So Britt, tell me this. So tell me this. So when you're at home cooking for your husband, mm -hmm. how does it make you feel in the kitchen like... You're cooking for somebody that you love. You're cooking for not only your husband, you're cooking for your kids also. Right. How do that make you feel? So, I love cooking anyways, but I love when I can say, come here, let me let you taste something. And then, when they come in there and they taste it, like, high five me and tell me, mom, that's good, babe, that's good. I like that, making them feel good. Um, well, also, it's an accomplishment for me. Mm -hmm. Same way, like selling jewelry, cooking for you, selling candles, doing that same type of thing. Right. Um, it's an accomplishment. You're right. You're absolutely right. And the thing about accomplishing something that you really want to do, it makes you feel good as a person. Yes. And that is really special. And that's why I'm so glad you were able to come and grace our home <laughs> and cook with us. You know, cook with us. But as you guys know, the, the, the salmon is almost done. She's actually sauteing the salmon with the onion and bell pepper. We also have the sauce back here that is almost done. Oh my God, Rick, do you see this sauce? Yes, I can't wait. I wish y'all could smell how fragrant this is. You can smell those bell pepper and onion and that seasoning on that salmon coming together. It's like a potpourri of goodness. Right. It, it smells amazing, you guys. So, right now the salmon is ready. So we're going to go ahead and plate the salmon, and we'll see you guys in a second once everything is done. Hey, you guys. We are back. We are back, and we are back with all the food that we have cooked this evening. It's done. Everything is done. The salmon is looking amazing. The mashed potatoes are looking great. And the asparagus are looking wonderful. So I'm gonna go ahead, since you're the guest today. Okay. Britt, I'm gonna let you plate the food today. I got this. So we're gonna go ahead and let Britt go ahead and start what she's gonna do today. Okay, so first we are going to do the mashed potatoes, homemade mashed potatoes. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna put it in the middle of the plate. And let me just tell y'all something. Um, hubby ain't eating no starch. So we're just going to give him a little, little taste of potato. <laughs> right. Give me two spoons. I right, like right. a lot of mashed potatoes, especially yes. when they're homemade. Okay. Now, the thing about mashed potatoes, how do you like your mashed potatoes? Um, I really like homemade mashed potatoes, and the way you did them was perfect. 
Okay. Four points. Okay. Now, do you like the 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 clumps in your mashed potatoes? I do. Or you like I like it water? chunky, chunky, chunky. chunky. Okay. <laughs> Right. Okay, so what we're going to do after we do the mashed potatoes is we're going to get a couple of these asparagus and put them on the plate next to the mashed potatoes. Okay, okay. Now, I love asparagus, you guys. How do you feel about asparagus? I love asparagus, too. I really, really do. Okay. I'm, I'm very eager to try this method of how you cooked it because I've never had it like this. So, okay. I'm very, very eager to try this. So, we're going to see if you can make it do what you do okay. with this asparagus. Okay. You want to see. <laughs> you want to see. And actually, see. what we're going to do is we're going to put the uh, uh, salmon right on top of those mashed potatoes. Oh we're going to nestle it right in to those mashed potatoes. And once we are done with that, what we're gonna do is put this bell pepper and onion confetti right in on top of there. So we're gonna put that in. Britt, look at that, that look amazing. Look like, at that, y'all. Oh my God, Britt. That now let me tell y'all, this don't even have no butter on it in this popping, right? Oh my God. That look, look amazing, that. Britt. That look amazing. <laughs> That looks so good. Y'all don't hear this, but my stomach is growling while Oh, that look amazing. <laughs> so we got the confetti on there. And then we're going to go ahead and take this sweet honey butter and drizzle that with that garlic all over the mashed potatoes and the salmon with oh the confetti God. on it. Look at that, y'all. Oh, look my God. That, that look see that? amazing. Mm, mm -hmm. That look amazing. Healthy and tastes good. It can be done. The markets will let y'all know it can be it done. Really can. Watch his videos, y'all. It really can be done. That looked amazing. Now the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this slice of lemon and we're gonna squirt it all over everything. And we're gonna place it on the sides. <laughs> we're gonna squirt it and place it on the side of the plate as a garnish in case you want some more when you're eating. So we're gonna squirt mm -hmm. a little bit and place it on each plate. You guys, this look amazing, and it smells even more amazing. Like, Brie, I really appreciate you just watching the videos and wanting to be able to learn how I Absolutely. do my recipe. Absolutely. Because let me tell you something. When I watch stuff and see it, I want to try it at home. So y'all better get on these videos and watch it so y'all can learn how to cook salmon, homemade mashed potatoes, and asparagus too. If y'all want to make it do what it do, watch Demarcus and learn how he cooks. That's what you better do. Britt, this food look amazing. It's all your recipes, baby. I really appreciate everything. <laughs> I like, appreciate you for showing me how to make it. I appreciate it. Now, I want you to go home and cook your family the same oh, I am. recipe. They might be eating salmon tomorrow. Y'all might see me on that paparazzi live making salmon and selling jewelry. You know what, y'all? I am really happy that I'm able to make you happy. Oh, yeah. That's what it is. Because the key is to make sure that people are able to eat healthy. Yes. And enjoy their food. Right. And that's all I want. You I want, want you it to, to taste be a, good. I want it to taste good and I want you to enjoy your food. Yes. And be happy. Absolutely. That's it. So, you guys, we're going to go in and go ahead and eat. Now, we have three plates here right now because Hubby is recording us. Mm -hmm. And we're going to go ahead and taste it. Okay, let's we're go. We're going to go ahead and do the taste test. I'm going to give this your plate because okay. it, it got the okay. big piece on it. Okay, no problem. No problem. <laughs> this your plate with the little potatoes. <laughs> okay. So, we're going to go ahead and taste it. Let's see. And let us know what it tastes like. Let's see. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh. Mm. Wish y'all was here so y'all could taste it too. Better make your own. So, mm. let the people know one more time where they can find your paparazzi jewelry. Okay. You can go to paparazziaccessories.com slash 238-283 or you can find me on Facebook at Embellished Divas Boutique or Brittany Good, G-O-O-D-E. You heard. On a channel. You heard. <laughs> Good. I just want to thank good. you so much for coming through and I want you to enjoy this salmon and I want yeah. you to take this recipe back to your family Absolutely. and also cook it for your family. I'll definitely and I appreciate you so much Cole, for coming through. I love y'all. And we love you guys for watching Yes. Thank and stay you. tuned for more things. You guys like, comment, 
share this video, Absolutely. and subscribe to our channel. Yes, y'all better subscribe. So much. We have so much coming for you guys. So, thank you so much for coming, Thank Carl. you. Love you. I love you too. So, thank you. See you guys later. Bye bye.